it's not my birthday, but that is what I'm going to talk about today, because lots of other birthdays are happening. Good morning, Rioteers. Like I said, it's not my birthday. My birthday's not for a couple of months, and we will do something special for it, but I have no idea what it is yet. In fact, if you watched the podcast yesterday, our very first Concept Crucible podcast, please welcome, go, if, if you're, stop this video, pause it, go there, welcome Ryan to the Wootsuit Riot family. We'll get him in the picture soon enough. He'll be like a wider Dan. But we all have beards. Also, now we have two Ryans, which is complicating things soon I, we might have three actually but regardless we talked about birthdays in the podcast we talked about how we celebrate our birthdays and just on saturday i was in a surprise party for a friend of mine who was also one of our headshots organizers and we'll get her on the channel at some point but and i don't usually like surprise parties but it was a lot of fun i'll talk about why i don't like surprise parties maybe tomorrow in a post on concept crucible spreading it around in my multimedia empire but no I am one of those people, I don't really have a method for celebrating my birthday. I used to think it was not a thing. I, I was really sort of disillusioned by the climate of entitlement that comes around it. And I talked about that a bit yesterday. I'm like, my plan is usually I think, oh, maybe I should do something for my birthday. But I don't really want to do anything, which is adult for, yes, I would really like to do something for my birthday, but I'm boring and can't think of anything and don't just want to do all the same things that I would normally do. So instead, I'll claim that I don't want to do anything and secretly hope that something happens which is of course not a good way to deal with don't do that don't deal with that do that with anything which is why this year i've decided i do want to do something for my birthday i just don't know what it is yet but we do all kinds of things for birthdays we you know we we think that they're they're, they're special and they are sort of in a way that we, we we make them special and that's really the the message to come away with it um i've been thinking about birthdays and i want to do a birthday video ever since I saw Colin's birthday. I mean, Colin is a kid in um, northern Michigan, western Michigan, somewhere around there. And on March 9th, which is three days ago, he turned 11. And he's, he's got some, some problems that he's struggling with. And, but, but he, and he said to his mom, he said, I don't, I don't really want to have a birthday party because I don't have any friends and nobody would come. So... I'm going to cancel my birthday, which, I mean, as an adult, you're like, I'm going to cancel my birthday. I'm too cool for birthdays. I'm too grown up. When you're, when you're 10, that's, that's a big deal. And I, I, I have been 10 once and I have been there and I have had that feeling where I'm like, nobody's going to come to my birthday party and it sucks. So Colin's mom went on Facebook and she said, oh, nobody's going to come to my son's birthday party. And I'm really upset about that. And currently Colin's, uh, Facebook page his, uh, his, his Colin's birthday, which I will, of course, link below, has 2.1 million likes. Colin, you have a great, a lot of friends who are super cool because, I mean, it's the internet. And you can always find people who are like you or, or who sympathize with you because we were all that kid once. And the lesson that I take from Colin and that I'm going to carry forward to my birthday this year and that I want to carry forward to my friends' birthdays is do something cool and special for your birthday. Because... It is a day where you can remind yourself that you are cool and special. And no, it is not the only day you can do that. It is not the only day you should celebrate being alive or doing anything like that. It's just like Valentine's Day, which is not the only day you should celebrate being in love. But it is a day where you can do that and where people understand and they will sort of make a priority to do that. The thing that sort of disillusioned me with birthdays was the idea that on our birthday, we are special somehow. Like, we are entitled to certain things. Like, you have to be nice to me. It's my birthday. Well, if you're a jerk on your birthday, then you're being a jerk. Don't be a jerk on your birthday. Don't ruin your birthday for everybody else. That's what makes you not want to celebrate birthdays. I say this as someone who is being a jerk on their birthday. Instead, and I take this lesson from Ryan from the podcast, because he has this highly ordered system of things that he does on his birthday. And I, ad I admire that, that he, he tries to focus on how he enriches himself and how he enriches the people around him and how he's going to do that for the next year. And that, I will be honest, I don't think I talked about it, astounds me. My plan is usually something like sit, play video games, and occasionally brood. The thing to keep in mind is that it's an important thing to do. It's important to remind yourself why you're here. 
and what you're doing and why what you're doing is important. You can use it, and you can use it as an opportunity to bring people into that thing, to invite people into that thing. And if no one is going to come, if you don't think anyone would ever come to your party, then, well, there's always the internet, and we will show up. So, on Friday, I'm going to have a special birthday song that was, that is universal, it's for everyone. I think that it will replace Happy Birthday within a few years. Although it turns out Disney doesn't own the copyright on that anymore. So I could just sing Happy Birthday, but I'm not going to. I'm going to invent an entirely new song. A song that I sang for someone else. I did a birthday song a few weeks ago for Courtney. It's going to be very different than that. That was a personal thing. This is a general thing. But you can use it at your birthdays, and I encourage you to. And for very special birthdays, I might bring it out of the closet. Because it is, I think, one of the most brilliant songs I have ever written. Certainly about birthdays. So I will see you guys on Friday and on Thursday with some video games and lots of lots of other stuff. So I'm going to write a post tomorrow about how to throw a reverse surprise party. And I will put a link to that below when I get it up because it's today, not tomorrow. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good week. And if it is your birthday this week, happy birthday. And if it isn't your birthday this week, then still happy birthday because it will come around eventually. Unless it's your last one. <laughs>